Good day to each everyone. This is Mr. Loretto Sala and welcome back to this YouTube channel. So if you like uh, the video about this kind of thing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. So in here we have 18650 lithium ion battery that is commonly found in C in your laptop batteries as well as in your power bank and some e-bike. So in here we can see that uh, the nominal voltage or the 50% charge of this lithium ion battery is around 3.7 volts. The fully charged is around 4.2 volts and the 0% or we can say that the lowest voltage possible is around 2.8 to 2.9 volts. So now, what we're going to do is that we will going to test this battery came from laptop to know what battery is good and what battery is then. So now we're going to test the voltage or know the voltage of this uh, battery by using this uh, digital multi-tester. So we're going first to measure the voltage of this one. It is an LG battery. So the voltage is around 4.02 volts. We will going to classify it as a class A or a good battery. So this one, around 3.32 volts. Again, a good battery. So this one is 3.51 volts. Again, another good battery. So we now have four good working batteries. So this one is around 3.28. Again, it is a good battery. And we'll see this blue. So now we're going to test this battery. So it is around 2.6 volts. So it is made... Uh, by LG and this one it can be classified as class B batteries so what we're going to do is that we will going to charge it up to 4.2 volts then know the capacity then after that if we know the capacity we're going now to uh, observe the voltage of the battery so if it is a fast discharging battery there's a big, big tendency that this is a bad one that we're going to do is that we're going to dispose this because uh, it will or it is not as useful as other working batteries so we're going to classify this as class b and now this one so this is uh, also made by lg we're going to test this one so it is 0 0.57 volts and it is also made by LG. What we are going to do is that we will dispose this one because it is classified as dead because it is less than 1 volt. We are going to dispose this. Okay, this uh, battery made from LG also around 0 0.2 volts. Then we're going to dispose that one. Here, red one is made from Sunny or Sanyo. And it is 0 0.02. We're going to dispose that also. 0 0.52. Again, we're going to dispose that one. Red one. Again, 0 0.01. A useless battery. So, it is 2.27 volts. So, this one will be classified as class B. We will also charge this one in order capacity. And this one is 0 0.2.74. So we will go into classify this as class B. 0 0.41 to class C or we will go into this post that one. So 2.42. Can we classify a class B? This one is around 1.49. So this can also be classified as class B. Just going to charge that up to 4.2 volts in order to pass it. And this one is 0 0.8. So it is a bad battery. So now we have this uh, good battery. We have five good batteries. We have five class B batteries. And we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have seven class C batteries. So this one will be disposed and we'll, we will send it to refurbishing shop or to any person that the, need this kind of battery. And this one will be classified as good batteries and can be put in our power bank as well as in the power wall so we can use that one. And this one will be test that and know the capacity and know if it is uh, fast discharging battery because if the battery is the fast discharging one it is uh, maybe will be classified as bad batteries 
So that was the simple thing or simple strategy on how to know good from or the, how to distinguish good from bad batteries. So in here, I just going to show this to you. So we have this uh, Sanyo batteries and you're going to see that there's a leak coming from the batteries. So this one, even though it has a uh, voltage, let's say it, it is 4.2 volts, we will just dispose this kind of battery because there's a leakage. So I experienced that I charge this kind of battery, then it create or there's a smoke coming from here. So it is very dangerous, especially we are here in island and the house is made from light materials. So again, if the battery has a leak, much better you're going to dispose that one. And thank you for watching. This is Mr. Loretto Sala and continue supporting my YouTube channel by subscribing, liking and sharing the videos. So have a good day.